and coming to your games with signs and chants and all of that? Well, I think that, you know, when you think about communities across the world, uh, I think that a lot of people would stand for world peace. You know, government gets involved, um, it impacts different communities in different ways. Um, and the reality is that as individuals, it's our job to stand up for what we believe in. Now, I understand Hong Kong and China is dealing with their issues respectfully, um, respectively, um, but there's enough oppression and stuff going on in America for me not to be involved in the community issues here as well. And that's one of those four pillars that goes in terms of the black community, um, colored people here still in America. Like, we're still fighting for everyday freedom. So, you know, when I think about Hong Kong, you know, when I think about Hong Kong and China, like the people are in an uproar. And, you know, for us as Americans to comment on it, us as African Americans or American Indians to comment on that, you know, you're, you're connected non nonetheless, you know, especially when it impacts freedoms or world, world peace, like I said. So, you know, for me, I, as an individual, I stand up for those four pillars. And when they're being conflicted, I can understand why protesters come to the game. America was built on protesting. I mean, built on slavery and let alone, but things happen all across the world and we're just taking notice and social media puts it right in front of everyone's faces. And, you know, if you're not thinking with a selfless attitude, then you can come out and kind of get yourself caught up in a few things politically that really impact a certain group of people in an area of the world. So I speak objectively, but also subjectively in terms of how I feel about the pillars that I stand by as a man. So. Judging by your, your t-shirt, it seems like those political values are 